Hello and welcome to an educative video on passive fire safety. My name is Praveen Khemka. I'm the managing director of Tough Foot Doors. We are a tier one bulk bracket manufacturer and provider of solutions, complete solutions on passive fire safety, soundproofing and radiation proofing. Today, we are going to talk about what is passive fire safety and what is passive fire safety and uh, what is the key most important factor in passive fire safety that is insulation. Passive fire protection is used to safeguard people and limit damage to buildings and their contents. It does this by limiting the spread of fire and smoke, protecting escape routes and by protecting the building structure. Passive fire protection products include fire doors, fire resisting walls, floors and ceilings, fire resisting ducts and dampers, fire stopping and fire protection for structural members. So as you saw, passive fire safety is something that does not react at the time of fire. Now, what is fire? Let us understand what is fire quickly to understand what is the most important criteria for passive fire safety. So fire is measured by heat. Heat. Flame does not burn. What burns is heat exposure and people usually die, unfortunately, out of exposure to heat, uh, which causes burning and smoke, which causes choking or poisoning by toxicity. Hence, three most important criteria of fire safety insulation against heat and smoke checking become the single most important value. So as we found out that passive safety saves you just by the virtue of being there without taking active participation in the hazard control. And second, in passive fire safety, the most important aspect or criteria to work for is insulation. If you like such videos and such knowledge in the specialized domain of passive safety in dwellings, please do write to us on sales at or subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.